Hello everybody, good morning, and welcome back to another vlog. So today is Tuesday morning, 11.37 a.m. And I have spent most of my morning watering my wilty plants because um, they have been so, so thirsty. Just with this warm weather we've been having, it's been such an abrupt change in the weather. I feel like it went from cloudy and rainy for days and days to just like all of a sudden it's been sunny and warm every single day for the past like week. Um, yesterday I went for my run and I was thinking that you could literally convince me that it's June right now. Like if I didn't know it was March, I would think it's June. It's just been that nice. So we're suddenly full swing in spring. I think today the 19th is actually the first day of spring. I think it technically spring starts at like 11 p.m. tonight or something. So tomorrow will be the first full day of spring. Anyways, so the plants were really in need of just a good watering. I didn't get to all of them, but I think I got to the ones that were really hurting. So um, yeah, I'll have to water more of them later today or tomorrow. I'm actually just about to start filming a Patreon video, but I wanted to show y'all a couple of things. One of them is a package that I received quite a few days ago now, and I've been waiting to open on the vlog. I was gonna open it in the last vlog, but I just didn't get around to it. So I'm gonna be opening it today and it's art. So I'm really, really excited about this. Um, it's actually from the same person that made literally my favorite thing on the shelf here. My ghost gardener. I am so obsessed with this. I can't even tell you like it's actual perfection. I love it so, so much. So she's actually opening, is it an Etsy? I'm not sure, some sort of shop where she's gonna be selling her art and she wanted to send me a couple things. And I was like, um, heck yes, because I'm literally in love with this piece. So I'm definitely not gonna say no to more art from that artist. Um, so I have no idea what's in here, but I'm gonna open it up, I'm so excited. Art is one of my favorite things to get. Like, ugh, I'm just, yeah, it's so fun. Okay, so there's this little cute tissue paper package and it says that there is XL Forest Friend sticker pack plus extras. Okay, let's open this up. I don't wanna wreck this tissue paper. I wanna keep it to reuse cause it's so cute. I love the blue and then the gold like sun and moon paper. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. There's lots of stickers in here. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I want to use some of these in my journal. Okay, there's these three. I love this one. These like water droplets, rainy vibes. This is so cute too. This is like a rainy one too. And then these flowers, so cute. And then we have a couple of different fun pumpkin ones, which is very up my alley. There's a whole bunch of these kind of nature-y forest theme stickers in here. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love this one. <laughs> I love this one. Look at these. <gasps> There's shiny ones too. Oh, maybe these are the forest. I don't know. I don't know which ones come in the forest pack, but I'm obsessed with all of these. Maybe these must be the forest pack. Oh, maybe they both are, but this different like, I'm not sure, but <laughs> there's a whole bunch of just different kind of foresty themed ones. Lots of mushrooms. Oh my gosh, these are like mushroom ghosts. Stop it, that's so cute. If you're looking for like spooky nature inspired art, oh my gosh, I'll link her shop of course. I love these, what the heck? 
These are all amazing. Oh, this one's so pretty. Wow. I've really been wanting to get more stickers recently too, now that I'm getting more into my journaling and stuff. Okay, and then we have a couple of prints and these are incredible. And I'm actually so excited that she sent these over because I, um, we started, I mean, started. We have one piece of art that we put up for our gallery wall that we're trying to do there. So I really need more just like cool art pieces to put up there. And look at this. That is so sick. Like what the heck? I love this. I really love the imagery of rabbits, especially after reading Bunny. I have like a new appreciation, but that is just so, so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to be putting that up. And then there's another kind of autumnal one. Look at this, the colors, like, are you kidding me? This is so cool, all the detail down here. Oh, I love this. I love them both so, so much. I need to get frames for these ASAP so that I can put them up. Wow, thank you so, so much, Taylor, for sending those over. I love them. I'm gonna have to message her right now to say thank you. That's totally just made my day. Okay, so while I've got you here, I thought I would show you something else that I got the other day that was actually gifted to me. I'm so spoiled. Um, <clears throat> I actually met a subscriber <clears throat> at my friend Hillary's baby shower, um, which I went to in the last vlog, if y'all saw that vlog. So I guess one of Hillary's like childhood friends um, watches my channel, which is so cool. So she came up and introduced herself to me and she was so nice and so cool. And it was just so fun to meet her and chat with her. And then she was like, oh, I actually have a gift for you. Like I brought something for you. And I was like, what? Like what the heck? Um, and this is what she gave me a freaking light meter. You guys, a freaking light meter. Um, she said that she watched my grow light video and I mentioned that I didn't have a light meter. So she, I guess, had an extra or something and she brought it to me, which is just the nicest, most generous thing ever. I was honestly shook. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um, that was just so, so nice. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open it right now. It was already just so nice and so cool to meet somebody that watches my videos. And then for her to have brought this for me was just like the most thoughtful thing ever. If you're not a plant person, I know not everybody on this channel is a plant person, but they measure like how much light is in different places of your home um, so that you can find, like figure out where better to put your plants and like measure the light of different grow lights and things. So it's a really cool little gadget. And this is the one that I see lots of people have, this Dr. Meter brand. Like this is so nice. Okay, so the battery's in here. I'll open this up later and put it together, but this is what it looks like. This is just so cool. So this is the little sensor, I think. That's just so neat. I feel so high tech having this. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because that was just something that was just really cool. And yeah, I couldn't even believe it. So yeah, the week is off to a great start. Um, I actually didn't sleep well again last night. <laughs> like I feel like I only slept for a few hours. I don't know what the heck. I'm having some major sleep, sleep issues lately. If anybody has any suggestions, like if you've struggled with sleeping issues, it's particularly getting to sleep, like falling asleep. Once I'm asleep, then yeah, it's the struggle is getting to sleep. So if you have any suggestions for me, I already take magnesium before bed. Um, I drink the nighty night extra valerian tea and, um, I try to stay off of screens before bed yesterday. I didn't though. So I think that that could be part of the reason that I just like couldn't fall asleep. I was up late, like answering comments and, uh, work emails on my laptop. So maybe that's why, but I just never used to have an issue with stuff like that. Like it would not affect me at all, but now it's like, I feel like I can just never get to sleep and it's really annoying. So any suggestions, let me know. But other than that, the week is really great. So like I said, the weather is gorgeous. I went for my third run uh, yesterday. I'm gonna be going again tomorrow. So I'm feeling really good now that I'm back in the swing of that. Well, getting back into the swing of that. We also have a couple of appointments for 
things around the house this week, like people coming to do quotes. One of them is for a heat pump. I think that they are actually coming tomorrow to kind of do a little assessment and chat with us and give us a quote for that because it just gets so, so extremely hot in here with the south facing windows not having any air conditioning. Um, so that's something that we really wanna look into even though they're freaking expensive. And I also just like, I mean, when we first moved in here, my my boyfriend was like, look, we need to like look into getting a heat pump. And I was like, mm, those are ugly. Like I don't want an ugly, I don't want an ugly one of those on the wall. But after spending a summer, in this boiling house i'm like no we need to get one <laughs> like immediately so i'm really curious as to how that's gonna go tomorrow hopefully that appointment goes well and then on friday we have somebody coming to give us another quote for a fence for the backyard um we had a quote done last year uh by a different company and then we tried to we were just like not ready to spend the money on that last year so we waited until the spring and then we tried to contact them like a month ago and we never heard back and we were like that's weird but whatever maybe they're just busy so then my boyfriend tried to call them again yesterday and he said that it like the call wasn't going through or something so i looked it up and they're closed it said permanently closed so i was like okay so now we're back at square one to find somebody to come um put in a fence so on friday people are coming to do a quote for that and then we're also waiting to hear back from another um fence guy to get a quote from him so yeah unfortunately fences are extremely fences and heat pumps are both extremely expensive things but they're just kind of things that just need to be done here um so yeah we'll see how those appointments go i'm excited that the ball is rolling on these things because we've known that we need to like you know get cracking on these things for quite a while and we just yeah <laughs> we just push it off so now now things are happening, which is good. So yeah, that's kind of, other than that, just regular work stuff and um, yeah, nothing else too crazy, I don't think. Just, I'm still reading Nettle and Bone, still loving it. Hoping to finish that within the next couple of days, but we'll see. I've just been um, busy. <laughs> I always am saying I'm, I'm busy. I, that's just like who I am. Like I always am gonna feel busy no matter how much I'm currently doing. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I just like, I constantly just feel the weight of like a million things that either need to be done or that I could be doing. And that's just the way it is, but it's fine. That's just, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go. I need to start filming um, my video now. So yeah, I will chat with you guys later. <laughs> sowing my first ever seeds to start indoors and I'm very excited about it so I had to clear out a bunch of my baby anthuriums that were in here so now I have a few free trays and I'm gonna be doing some scallions 
lettuce. Oh, I have a different type of lettuce too. I should grab that one. Um, cherry tomatoes, regular tomatoes. This lettuce, which is like a leafy blend of lettuce. I feel like I should be starting more of these, but I'm just kind of following mid to late spring. Hmm. I'm just kind of following what I read on the little planting guide. I don't need to do a squash. Thyme. Maybe I should do the thyme. Hmm. I think I'm going to need more <laughs> seed trays. Oh my gosh. Sunflowers? No. Bush beans? No. No. Yeah, I don't need to do arugula. It's not time for cucumber. Kale, I can direct so outside, but I don't have my garden beds ready yet, so I'm gonna wait on that. Marigolds. Hmm, okay. Nasturtium. Direct so, okay. My only kind of thing that I'm not sure about right now is how many seeds I should sow for each thing hmm okay I found a little chart online so I guess I'm just gonna roughly follow that I'm so used to house plants that it feels really weird to be planting things that are not house plants <laughs> by the way thank you to everyone who left advice on the last vlog about the berry bushes and just about any gardening stuff that I mentioned. It really is so helpful, especially since I just don't, I don't have much experience here. Okay, one thing that I'm for sure gonna need is plant tags. Oh, I should see which ones I have left over from last year too, cause I would definitely wanna use those ones first. Okay, I'm gonna consult my little thing again here. Okay, I'm gonna do my basil too. Oh my gosh, this is suddenly getting overwhelming. I literally thought I was only gonna be doing lettuce and tomato. It's fine. I'm not actually overwhelmed, so don't worry. <laughs> it's actually kind of exciting to be able to start more things. Okay, so basil. I'm really curious. All my girl lights are just turning off. But I'm really curious um, to start my cilantro because uh, I'm gonna be trying my own cilantro seeds that I harvested from my plant last year that was just growing on the patio. I'm assuming I can start them now.
Good morning, you guys. I literally just got up, but I thought I would give you a little update on my seed situation here. Okay, the grow lights haven't turned on yet, but um, there's really not much to see anyways because obviously they haven't sprouted yet. Um, so I have two seed trays down here. Um, they're full of lots of different things. I think I did 12 different things just so that I have well just to kind of like try out and see you know what's actually going to work for me because some of these seeds are kind of old as well um like two years old so we'll see what actually sprouts and then up here i have my heat mat set up um i actually have some of my corms on here so we'll see maybe they'll sprout really quickly or something i don't know i've never tried alocasia corms on a heat mat before um i just got this from amazon it's nothing fancy it doesn't even have a temperature thing but hopefully it'll be fine um i'm trying to keep the budget to a minimum and then here i have uh just anything that said it, heat would help it so i have tomatoes two types of tomatoes and then i think thyme which is very questionable it sounded like it sounds like it either takes a long time or it's just like difficult i don't know so i don't know how that's gonna go and then i forget what else is in here um oh yeah basil basil so yeah we'll see what happens with all of these seeds it feels very experimental i'm really glad that i at least got those started last night because i've been meaning to do that for a while now anyways I'm going to have my coffee and I have some editing to do so I'm probably just going to get that out of the way first thing and then um what else do I have to do today work wise oh I have to film and edit a video for tomorrow I'm cutting her clothes on that one. Oh my goodness um but I already know what I'm filming and I'll be able to get it all done today I also need to clean the house look at this there's like there's stuff everywhere and on the table all of my seed starting mess from yesterday anyways gonna get everything together here gonna have my coffee it's gonna be a good day Good morning everybody how are ya i slept on wet hair last night so sometimes that works out for me and sometimes it betrays me not not completely certain which way we're going with that today anyways hello i have not picked up this camera well that's not true i have not chatted with y'all here updating the blog in a few days now it has just been well there's a couple of reasons First and foremost, I was not feeling well this week. I wasn't sick or anything. I don't know what it was. I just felt maybe from not sleeping well. I was so tired. Like I just had like a gross feeling. Like you know when you don't sleep and and then your stomach is upset and then you have a headache. I had a headache for like two or three days straight and I don't get headaches very often. Um, I just felt disgusting and I did not want to pick up the vlog. Um, I did not want to do anything to be quite honest with you. I have not cooked. I think I cooked on That's not true. I think I've cooked once or twice this week, but I have not been like Yeah, <laughs> i've just been doing the bare minimum this week to be honest with you I made like a soup the other day, but I have not been doing my like m Weekly meal plan thing. Like I just haven't had the energy Um, sorry my lips feel dry or something so yeah just haven't been feeling great this week um i'm fine like everything's fine and i'm feeling better now but yeah just wasn't really didn't really have much to say or share i was just kind of moping around but it's all good sometimes it just be like that right so yeah 
I'm here now to update the vlog. Um, but other than that, it has been such a just crazy week. Um, we've had a lot of like meetings with people coming through here. We've had people come uh, to do quotes for the heat pump. We've had two different people come for fence quotes for the backyard. Um, yesterday morning, we had to have a plumber here because uh, our sink, our kitchen sink, had a leak, just like a small leak, um, which it, it, like he thinks something just wasn't tightened enough. So um, anyways, my boyfriend knows the guy. And he's super, super nice. And he came on Saturday, yesterday morning. Um, and while he was here, I was like, why don't we get him to hook up the fridge? Because our fridge, it has like water and, and an ice maker, but we haven't had it connected to, um, like connected to the water. So we obviously haven't been able to use those features. And I was like, since he's coming, why don't we get him to do that too? And he was happy too. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. Sorry. The coffee maker is doing its thing. It's so noisy. Okay. So now we have like nice filtered water in the fridge and freaking ice which is so nice because we'd always like our ice cube tray would always run out and then sometimes my boyfriend wouldn't fill it and i'd get so mad when there's not ice but um yeah it's just i feel very fancy because i've never had a fridge that does that before <laughs> it's such like a simple thing but i'm very excited about it um yesterday we spent a lot of time out on the deck because we put up um the shade thingy i think i showed just a few clips of it we put up i've been wanting to put a shade there forever because our deck is basically right outside of our neighbors our our neighbors beside us are very close like our houses are very close together and they have two windows that i mean really only one of them can see the deck well no two of them probably can anyways um i don't like sitting out on the deck when i'm just like right outside somebody's window um oh yeah and that's the other thing oh my goodness okay well first of all we put the shade up and it took us so long because it was half an inch too long to put it on the inside so we had to freaking haul the big ladder out and go from the outside of the deck and put it on the outside um so yeah anyways long story short it turned into this big procedure it felt very precarious i was very anxious because i get very i'm very anxious about heights and i just like literally thought my partner was gonna fall off to his death um but he didn't thank goodness we got the shade up and i'm super super happy that that's up i need to get the deck all like cleaned up and cute for spring now maybe we'll do that together and hi monkey did you just get up out of bed hi beautiful hi <laughs> um yeah, so we have our little um, shade up on the deck, and um, yeah, so the neighbors next door, um, I've mentioned it a little bit, but I haven't talked about it a lot. I have a whole video on my Patreon, like, talking about um, this, like, the crazy problems that we've had with them, um, particularly around the end of last year, but anyways, we have this group of young guys that lives beside us, and they're renting there and um we've it's been like yeah <laughs> kind of problematic not kind of problematic we've had some pretty serious things happen and um um and the owner's been here just doing things around the house so i guess they are being kicked out they're gonna be out at the end of april i think those guys um and apparently he's gonna sell the house so that's i don't know if that's good or bad news because part of me like part of me is relieved that these people with like all these noisy vehicles and that have done like caused these big disturbances and whatever i'm like relieved that they're gonna be gone but i'm also just very very anxious that somebody worse <laughs> is gonna be in there and that's just my anxiety brain and my catastrophizing brain hopefully it, that will not be the case hopefully everything will be fine i'm just gonna you know i'm not i'm trying not to think about it too much i, I get very anxious about neighbors though because i've had bad experiences and it's it's very disruptive when you have like chaotic people noisy people partiers you know it's just very like it causes me a lot of grief 
um yeah so we got that news and um yeah there's just been a lot going on here this week like tons of people coming through different appointments um the good thing is that you know within the next month probably we're going to be getting both a heat pump and uh fencing the yard which then means that i can plant trees uh, in front of the fence like i've been wanting to to create more privacy between us in the neighbor's yard um so yeah things are happening things are happening around here yeah ollie you gotta wait a few minutes baby she wants her breakfast it's 6 15 right now um but yeah that's what i've been up to i also want to give you an update on my seeds because they are sprouting you guys and i'm so shook i'm also stressed i just like <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? What's the procedure here now that they're all sprouting? Um, it's so crazy though, just how fast. Like, I'm like, what the heck? Okay, girl. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'll give you guys an update on the seeds. Maybe I'll show you. Well, it'd be better to see when it's light out, but maybe I'll bring them out into the light and show you. Anyways, I'm gonna go because this one is whining because she wants me to feed her, so. <laughs> Okay, I just finished editing up the vlog up until this point, so I just want to show y'all an update on my seeds and um, a reading update, and then we'll wrap it up. This hasn't been the most, um, I don't know the word. <laughs> I feel like this, this weekly vlog is just a little, it's just been a busy week and I wasn't feeling well and stuff, so yeah <laughs> better better luck for the next vlog this one's definitely not my favorite but that's okay sometimes it's just like that um anyways i have all of my seedling trays here so i'm gonna show you them it's so crazy first of all i know that they're getting leggy already so i've just moved the light or i've moved them closer to the light so um some of them are like really um you'll see but i guess uh let's start with this one they're pretty much all I've been keeping this one cracked open because I think you're supposed to take this dome off once they start sprouting. So all of these have actually come up already in this tray. Uh, this is my uh, like leafy lettuce blend. This row is butter crunch lettuce. This is my lacinato kale. And then the last one is my winter boar kale. They're so cute, especially the kales. Like, what the heck? They're like little heart shapes. They're so stinking cute. So yeah, I'm, I just, I can't believe how quickly these come up. It hasn't even been a week. I don't even know what the heck my next step is here. Like, I guess I have to thin these out or I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just rolling with it. This is my literal first time ever starting seeds. So I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. And then this next one has uh, some that are sprouted up. These are my marigolds, which are so crazy. And it the marigolds sound like they're really hard to grow from seed or something. I can't remember what exactly it was saying. They're prone to damping off or something I think it said on the seed packet. So since these ones have come up so much faster than the other ones, I don't know, it, like maybe I should just cut these ones off and move them out of here sooner. I'm not really sure, but the scallions nor the chives have come up yet and only one cauliflower but honestly i'm pretty impressed that this cauliflower has come come up because this is one of the seeds that i've had for two years now that i just kind of wanted to try out cover those guys back up and then this last one this one looks like this because this is the one that's been on the heat mat so let's take this off and take a look. I've actually had some coming up in here recently. So we have uh, tomatoes. These are my cherry tomatoes. Doesn't look like any of them have come up yet. This is my basil, which we have a couple up. And my thyme. These actually sprouted really quickly, which I was surprised about. So yeah, these ones are slowly but surely coming. I'm excited to keep an eye on these. They're so fun to grow so far. So, so far the whole seed journey seems to be going okay, which I'm glad for. I'm looking for the book that I finished so that I could show you. Oh, here it is. Okay, yes. So let's do a little reading wrap up. Oh my gosh, the sun is starting to come out. How nice. Let's do a little reading wrap up. 
since I have finished Nettle and Bone by T. King Fisher. This, y'all, oh my goodness, this type of fantasy, I don't even know, like, uh, I don't know, it's so different from other fantasy that I've tried to read. The writing in this, the themes in this, like, this was so hilarious at times. Also, I'm not someone who usually laughs out loud by myself, but I was literally cackling at some parts in this book. Like, the characters are so hilarious. They're so lovable. Um, yeah, it was just... Uh, it was so good. And I was worried about halfway through. I was worried that this was going to turn romantic. And it had just like the, the slightest sprinkling of romance in it and I feel like it was just done so perfectly. Like I wasn't even mad when there was a little bit of romance that spurred. I wasn't even mad because it was just done so well and yeah I had zero complaints about that which is rare for me because normally once romance stuff starts coming up in books I'm like mm, no. But no, this was absolutely fantastic. I have to go through it and tab because I have a whole bunch of dog-eared pages. Um, I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. So yeah, really, really loved it. And I'm looking forward to reading more from T. Kingfisher. I know that she has some horror novels. One of them has been on my TBR, like saved on Goodreads for quite some time. Um, what Moves the Dead. So... Yeah, I'm really excited to check out some of her other works. And now I have moved on to reading The Housemaid's Secret. I felt like this would be the perfect read to kind of break up because after this I have The Women and Legends and Lattes on my list and I didn't really want to hop into Legends and Lattes right after that fantasy book and I felt like The Women was like too much to dive, dive into right now so I just wanted something a little bit quick. Um, and easy to read. So I went with The Housemaid's Secret by Frieda McFadden. This is a sequel to The Housemaid, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, and so far it's really good. Like it's just exactly what I was expecting from this, just like a popcorn thriller kind of thing. Um, very entertained so far, very intrigued. I'm trying to think of like what the heck is going on here. I have a couple of theories, but I don't know what's actually gonna happen. So I'll find out. I'm about a hundred pages into this. Or like 90 pages or something like that and yeah I'm really liking this like I can just read sit and read these for so long they're so so easy to read Frida McFadden is actually a um what's it called a neurologist like a, a brain specialist a practicing physician special or maybe not a neurologist um but a, a practicing physician specializing in brain injury so that's really cool and she's written so many books it's like Girl, how are you doing this? It's so insane. Um, but yeah, liking this so far, really excited to get further into it. I don't think this is going to take me very long to read. Um, just, I don't know. I just love thrillers. I love easy thrillers. Like, yeah, they're just so much fun. I'll read the back of the book because it doesn't give any spoilers for the, f the first book or anything. It's a different story. Like, I honestly... I don't even know if you need to read the first one before you read this. Like, I would anyways, but I don't, I, like, they're completely separate stories. Um, like, it's not continuing. I mean, I guess there are some references to the first one, but it's not really continuing the story, at least not yet. Anyways, I'll read you the back. Um, it says, it's hard to find an employer who doesn't ask too many questions about my past. So I thank my lucky stars that, that the Garricks miraculously give me a job cleaning their stunning penthouse with views across the city and preparing fancy meals in their shiny kitchen. I can work here for a while. Stay quiet until I get what I want. It's almost perfect, but I still haven't met Mrs. Garrick or seen inside the guest bedroom. I'm sure I hear her crying. I notice spots of blood around the neck of her white nightgowns when I'm doing laundry, and one day I can't help but knock on the door. When it gently swings open, what I see inside changes everything. So yeah, it's basically about our main character working as a maid for these rich people and the wife literally never comes out. She stays in the guest bedroom because she's ill, uh, ill. So she's never seen, our main character doesn't know what the heck is going on and she's worried for her safety. And um, yeah, she's gonna get involved in their business, I feel. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here um, so that I can finish editing this and get it up for y'all. 
Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that it feels like spring where you are. Unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then I hope you're getting the cozy fall vibes. Either way, I hope that you all are doing well. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.